The truth is, you're going to die. We all are. That's because unlike whooping cough or strep throat, death has no cure. But thanks to the latest medical breakthroughs, we're closer than ever to finding one. In fact, some experts predict that we'll be able to live up to 20% longer over the next 100 years. That means children today might live until they're 145 years old. And what about immortality? Well, turns out, even that's not out of the question. History is littered with unusual attempts to defy death. In 1920, for example, a Russian scientist thought that he could prolong life by sewing a piece of monkey testicle to a human's. And even more shockingly, this idea caught on. At least 300 people underwent this procedure. Ouch. Anyways, today, the field of longevity is far more scientific. New drugs like rapamycin, for example, can increase the lifespan of mice up to 30%. Rapamycin works by slowing down the growth of certain cells that contribute to aging. And experts predict that it will likely have a similar effect in humans, adding as much as 15 years to our current lifespan. But even if drugs like rapamycin work, there's no saying that your heart won't suddenly give out well before then. Or maybe it will be your liver. Well, turns out there's a fix for that too. Just print a new one. In 2013, scientists made headlines when they 3D printed the first living kidney. And by 2018, they'd advanced the tech to the point where they were printing human corneas from an ink made out of stem cells. At this pace, technology could soon bump the average global life expectancy from 72 to 86 and the maximum possible age to somewhere around 145. And yeah, you know, that sounds impressive, but what if you wanted to live forever? That's exactly what projects like the 2045 initiative are trying to work out. By the year 2045, they aim to create extraordinary human bodies that could, in theory, last forever. But their goal depends on something that's nearly impossible to acquire a map of the human brain. So far, scientists have only mapped the brain of a worm, which has about 86 billion fewer neurons than our own. And that means that it could take generations, not just decades, to transfer the human psyche to a robot. But businesses like CryoRus are betting that that day will come. They offer to freeze your body after you die for a cold $36,000 or for half the price, just your head. Sounds fine. The idea is that one day in the future, your brain might be thawed and transferred into an avatar where you'll live forever. And should that day come, only one question will remain. Do you really want to?